Hi, so in this video I want to talk to you about a brand new book that's going to be released February 25th, 2020, Green Witchcraft, Practical Guide to Discovering the Magic of Plants, Herbs, Crystals, and Beyond by Paige Vanderbeck. If you do, uh, Paige Vanderbeck is the Fat Feminist Witch, and if you don't know who the Fat Feminist Witch is, then you've been living under a rock. Um, she is amazing, and she is prolific. She is a force of nature, and I will post links below my video, and I'll make sure to get you the links of where you need to go to order her new book, her first book, and um, find her on the internet. All right, so I was um, honored so honored to uh, her her publisher approached me and asked me if I would uh, write an endorsement I read this book in one sitting and I couldn't I, I just couldn't stop I read it right straight through and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the book but I don't want to tell you too much because I want you to enjoy it the way I did so I'll tell you a little bit about its physical characteristics and what's inside and then I'm going to stop because this is the third time I'm recording this video and the first two I've I said too much. So I'm going to keep it uh, to the point. No spoilers. The tactile f experience of this book, it's got that nice rubbery, um, high quality cover, matte, um, the colors that you know, it's not doing it justice in this video when you look this this beautiful beautiful It's a beautiful book and you know um, In Italian we say um, We you know you we eat with our eyes first, right? So the you know the food has to look beautiful this book made me think of that saying because I looked at this and just um, Just the beauty of the book drew me in but this this is not one of those shallow Instagram books. No, no, no. And um, this, this is a this book is she is small, but she is mighty because um, I think it's 165 pages, including the glossary, and it is um, every word in this book is in fact practical. It's uh, divided into two parts. The first part, it talks about uh, green witchcraft. It's uh, an intro to green witchcraft and where the author draws you in and invites you into this world, um, regardless of whether or, not, um, whether or not you live in the city or in the country, whether or not uh, you have a green thumb or you're the witch that withers the crops. We've all been there. Me too, at some point I was there. Um, and then the second part is the practical uh, guide handbook where there's a chapter on each um, on each element, right? And I don't mean like, I don't mean element, element. What I mean is like flowers, plants, um, herbs and greens, wood, stones and crystals. It's a beautiful and um, it, it's complete as, as as Green Witchcraft 101 book, you know what I mean? Like, it um, it's excellent in the sense that someone could pick up this book, not knowing anything about witch, uh, Green Witchcraft or Witchcraft, and start practicing Green Witchcraft that same afternoon. So, that's that's no small feat, you know what I mean? To be that approachable, and to be something that is that practical. Um, she start, you know what I mean? It's, you open the book, you know what I mean? I didn't even say anything yet, and I'm telling you, and I'm asking you if you know what I mean. You open the book, and she starts right away on topic, and she, and her writing is engaging, and it's clear, and there's nothing in this book that is too uh, weird or inaccessible, you know what I mean? Like, she doesn't talk about, like, you know, herbs you can't get, right? Uh, most of these you can get pretty much anywhere, and some of them you have to uh, go to a uh, metaphysical shop to pick up, but otherwise, no, it is all the the spells and the and all that stuff. This is all stuff you could use. Look at this. I'm just I'm gonna, just going to show you this. 
the inside of the book. This is what you can expect from this book. It's th it's this th you know. It's beautifully laid out. Um, look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? So it's gorgeous. It's informative. Um, it's just I've been practicing for decades, and um, this is the first. This is the first book on green witchcraft that really has captured my heart. This made me fall back in love with green witchcraft. It's that good. And I've been disappointed by, you know, a lot. I'm jaded, you know. If you've been watching me for five minutes, you already know who I am, so I don't have to explain to you. But this is beautiful, 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 beautiful book. And makes a great gift. I know, like I said, I think, I don't know if I said it in this video, or I know I said in the other two that that had to scrap, but I will be buying, I, it makes a great gift. I will be buying these for my daughters, uh, for my friends who are interested in witchcraft, green witchcraft. Um, and what's special about this book is that you don't have to practice witchcraft as a religion to um to find this this book interesting or to be or to to like this book because she completely steers clear of that this is witchcraft as a practice and regardless of what your spiritual practice is your spiritual beliefs your religious expression this is you can apply this to whatever that is for you and yeah if guard, you know, if if you're a gardener, if um, if you're someone who, regardless of what your spiritual expression is, but when you're in your garden or you're tending your plants or whatever, you feel a spiritual connection to the to your plants, to the natural world. This is also a book I highly recommend for you because it it you know. It talks about that. It it's ba the first the first half the first part of the book, not the first half, but the first part of the book is all about connecting to the natural world. So yeah, so I'm gonna stop now. I showed you a little bit inside the book. Here, I'll show you another little bit inside the book to show you how. All right, February twenty fifth. 2020 it's being released I'll have the links below again because I don't remember what I said in this video versus the first two that I recorded and scrapped um, ask your local if you if you if you're lucky to live where there's a metaphysical shop brick and mortar ask them to bring it in for you um, and if you live in a place like I do where you have to order everything online well I'll have the links below for that as well. And that's it. I think I'm going to stop here because otherwise it's just going to devolve into uh, gushing and all that kind of stuff. This is a beautiful book and uh, I feel so honored to have uh, been allowed to write the endorsement or to, be, to have been asked to write the endorsement and um, I highly highly recommend this book. I think it's a beautiful addition to your witchcraft library or even to your gardening library. All right, that's it for me. I wish you all a beautiful day. Bye-bye.